time you come to your neck, I see telegraphy, the panel discourse. Nini de Ote, Ginga Bote, Bellana, Allo, Gagne. Nel Nel Alorek, Sala, I'm a demon for the parties. My bottom door, Hamundang. Welcome back. We now join the central focus of this for a look at the day's weather report. Oh yes, you can drive your way there with the El Tinto Mecca Jafale Kafo promo. The Hajj is possible. Stay loyal or become a member of the Elton Jafale Kafo today and enjoy the double take. Because every time you fill your tank at any of our Elton stations, you get a chance to be in our monthly raffle draw. To take home lots of goodies like gallons of oil, bags of rice, bags of sugar, vehicle accessories and much more. Plus a chance to become the lucky winner of the El Tinto Mecca Jafale Kafo fully paid Hajj expenses. Remember, it's a double take. Your single loyalty for the monthly draw and the Elton to Mecca Jafale Kafo final draw to be held just before the Hajj. For more information, drop by any of our Elton station. Elton, a new vision of service. Good evening, and we are pleased to bring you the weather news. As usual, we begin with a summary of today's weather followed by the forecast. Conditions over the Gambia today were mainly cloudy and rain-affected places. The figures obtained are as follows. The highest over Banjul, 41 millimeters. Genoa recorded 12.8. Janjambure, 8.8 millimeters. And the lowest was recorded over Yundum, 6 millimeters. To see what will follow, let's begin with a look at a satellite image captured at 16.30 hours, indicating spots of convective cloud spouting over parts of the Gulf of Guinea, becoming more intense over central and eastern part of the continent. North and southern Africa were generally dry and stable during the hour. For our forecast tonight, we are expecting a humid and a partly cloudy atmosphere with chances of rain and or thunderstorms, particularly over the western sector of the country. The eastern part will be mainly partly cloudy and warm. Day tomorrow will be humid, partly cloudy and warm across the country with chances of rain and or thunderstorms over the eastern sector of the Gambia. The winds will be mainly southwesterly in orientation, but generally light to moderate in speed. Morning temperature values are expected to be 21 degrees Celsius over Banjul. We are expecting 22 degrees Celsius over Yundum and Sibanor. Kerawan will be 20 degrees Celsius. Genoi, 23 degrees Celsius. Rest of the country will be 24 degrees Celsius tomorrow morning. Top temperatures will be 31 degrees Celsius over Bangalore and Yundum. We are expecting 32 degrees Celsius over Kerawan and Sibanor. Rest of the country will be 32 degrees Celsius warm, except over Kaur, where we are expecting 34 degrees Celsius tomorrow afternoon. The sun will rise at 7 minutes to 7, and I will set at 5 minutes past 1900 hours. With that, we now see the international forecast, and do have a very good night. <laughs> And before we go, a reminder of our headlines. The Gambia Armed Forces has opened a two-week capacity building conclave designed to train officers and men on military operations and public relations. Forestry Director Ablai Sane has been speaking about the importance of peace and reconciliation during a conciliatory tree planting exercise by the communities of Ndemban and Somita in the West Coast region. The staggering tale of a Nigerian mercenary who fights for Colonel Gaddafi has hit the newsstands as Mohamed Waknihi vows to fight on to reinstate the ousted Libyan leader. And the international community is working towards avoiding a diplomatic showdown over Palestinian statehood at the ongoing UN summit. You can also follow the day's stories and other GRTS programs live on our website at www.grts.gm. There you can also monitor GRTS Radio Live. With that, we come to the end of this edition of the news at 8. Join us at 10 for another edition.
I am Ibrahim Ojata. On this edition of the expedition, we join the Gambia Bad Watchers Association as they set out to pay the maze of every fauna species in the country an engaging visit in order to find out the plight of four endangered bird species. That's the expedition after this break. <laughs> Over 500 bird species have been discovered and identified in the Gambia, which attracts a significant number of tourists who exclusively visit the country to explore the avifauna population that can be found here. Now, if you've never released a bird watching trip, sit back and enjoy a fascinating expedition. Bird watchers trying to have a better view of a Malachi kingfisher on a customary flight searching for an early meal within the watercourse. Two species of the interesting bird inhabit this part of Pirang in the Combo East. The pied and malachite are both of the same family, but a typical distinction can be found in each of the nine species of the bird common in the country. Maybe you haven't seen it yet. No, but we will. Okay, the cool okay, side. Okay. What, what, what bird are we giving this now? This is a pygmy kingfisher. Pygmy kingfisher. Pygmy kingfisher. Okay. okay, it's different from the kingfisher we started over there. Yeah. The Malachite yeah. and. Yes, it's different from okay. that. This is a woodland one. Yeah. Yeah. This is a woodland one. Yeah. Okay. What does it feed on? This insect. Insects. Okay. It's an insectivorous. Okay. Okay. So also, we have six, uh, seven species of kingfishers. In the Gambia, in the Gambia. This is one of them. Nine. And you can find most of them. It, sorry, it's not nine. Nine, 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 species nine, of kingfishers. Species. nine species of kingfishers. But looking for kingfishers is not the real motive of this expedition. In a bid to ensure their protection and safety, local birders embarked on this outing to explore and assess the condition of four endangered avifauna species in the country. The crown crane, African spoonbill, black godwit, and lesser flamingo are four classes of birds which appear to be fast diminishing in the world as the impact of hunting, habitat destruction and erratic temperatures continue to inflict a shrinking effect on once abundant varieties. Flagship species is how they have been branded by birders as they move to appraise their position. We started to talk here because you can see all these four species, you know, if I'm right Mr. President, all these four species, are, you can see all of them here. Spoonbill, the black tail goatweed, the crown crane, mm -hmm. and the lesser flamingo. So, yeah, yeah. so our purpose of this monitoring is we are trying to see what are the activities that are impeding the lives of these birds. Because one, it could be you know, habitat encouragement, habitat destruction, you know, or the habitat they required, you know, our species to feed on is either getting narrower or people are intruding in their you know, particular areas. So the purpose of this monitor is we are trying to establish a baseline, you know, so that we can also come up with future, you know, management plans for this particular species. This wetland in Pirang attracts hosts of varying birds, owing mainly to the tranquil and awesome bio network, which brings together a watercourse, foliage and natural backdrop, making the ideal habitat providing just what birds look for. A sporing deal was also among the breeds sighted here. The bird is beautifully adorned with the Gambia's natural colors. Every biodiversity marks this area in the Combo East settlement of Pirang. Yeah, uh, extensive stream fishing and agriculture is done here, but the area's economic network is still quite intact. The bird watchers soon detect two of the targeted species in the area, a lesser flamingo and African spoonbill, both feeding on the same swamp. Now is a black one still. Okay. Casing the egret, black one still. Okay, that's the one behind the egret. Yeah, the one behind the egret. 